My name is Shania, and I am a leader with the Campaign for Nonviolent Schools. My name is Carolyn. I'm a technician at Temple Hospital and a parent of Philadelphia Public School students. My name is Ryan Blunt, and I'm a taxi driver. My name is Christopher Figueroa, and I'm a student in Philadelphia. My name is Audrey Trainham, and I am a grandmother of a public school student. My name is Amendu Evans. I represent SEIU 32BJ. I'm a maintenance worker. My name is Najee Childs. I am a student and proud member of the citywide student government. My name is Letty and I'm a second grade teacher. I say no to cuts that will affect my children and school negatively. I believe every student deserves a quality education. I believe that education is a human right and that God wouldn't have it any other way. By underfunding our schools, our right to an education is slowly being taken away. I'm worried the budget cuts will affect my chances of attending and finishing college. I worked really hard to graduate high school and make it to college. That may all change if I can't afford school. We as taxi drivers don't want our kids growing up being taxi drivers. We want them to have a safe, quality education. If we have money for prisons, we certainly have enough money for schools. Put schools above prisons. Any attacks on our kids and their education is attack on all of us. It doesn't matter who you voted for. It matters who you're fighting for. I work every day with our young children and love what I do. I stand proud next to our young people creating a vision for nonviolent schools. I believe that when students, teachers, and community leaders come together, we can, without ever raising a fist, fight. And I stand for the nonviolent campaign to stop our tax dollars being used for prisons and so they could be used for education. We demand schools for the people, by the people. I stand with the campaign for nonviolent schools because our children deserve to have hope for their future. I will be there March 30th. Will you? So I'll be there on March the 30th. Will you? I will be there on March 30th. Will you? If Martin Luther King Jr. was alive, he would stand with us on March 30th. Will you?